All right, well, what a day. Here we are. We're finally at Splitters Creek Farm, which is really nice. And it's actually midweek, so it's really quiet here at the moment, which is nice. One of the things I really wanted to talk about today, now that we've got back, we're a bit more relaxed, was when you get to your campsite, I think the best way you can accomplish a great night is actually having the right gear to go with it. So one of the great things and privilege that I have is I get to go out and test the product, but also I just wanted to show you today some of the things that I think are vital as part of your best experience to give you a summit experience in one of our vans. So one of the first things I wanted to touch on is First thing you do generally when you get to camp, you set up your airbags, lower it down. Then it's your water hose if you're staying at a campsite like this. Now these are the Aussie made ones, they roll up, they're a flat hose. They're obviously not the cheapest, but this is a premium van, this is a premium product. And one of the things I love about these, I've had these for a long time, I went and got a new one so I can show you, but it's a flat hose, winds in really simple, goes out, packs away, they don't break. They're really high quality. They've obviously got brass fittings, but you buy one of these, I've had one for a long time and you'll have it for a big part of your life. I just think it's worthwhile spending the extra getting some really good componentry that works with your van. Next thing I think that's changed that industry is muck mats. So this is just a really cool product. The guys that came up with this, I think brilliant idea. Basically get yourself a muck mat, any size you want. We usually carry two, so you just want one at your doorstep, uh, particularly, and then we often put one out here. Just so if you go in the sand, mud, or horrible places, this will stop you. I can tell you I was at Big Red Bash, that was a lifesaver having two of those. Next thing I want to talk about, now you'll see I've got a bit of both, so obviously we carry Max Track. But this is a tread product, and I put this under my front jockey wheel, so... My jockey stand stands on there. You can pack these three, four high. You can actually buy two packs, go eight. I just find if you carry the four, the leg on the front of a zone, that'll get you out of most places so you can easy unload and get your van off. The other thing is too, it's pretty important. I'm actually still hooked up, so just so everyone realizes that, but Tread make a really cool set of um, chogs. And I think that's essential. If you're gonna unhook, put your handbrake on, whack a couple of these on, and away you go. You never have that problem. Best thing you can have for putting up is obviously have a, a drill or have a little ratchet. Just make sure you have it set right so you don't break anything. I actually use the anchor uh, kit, so the screw pegs. So something I found that I really like is having these screw in pegs. Now you can grab whatever you like. I like these ones. They're really coarse. They actually make some for sand and things like that. But two of those, holding down your awning, it's not going anywhere. Really simple, the days of pulling pegs in and out are gone. Go and grab yourself something like that. You'll see as well, I always carry my jet boil and I carry jet boil gas. Now, the whole van and this thing's pretty much electric. The only gas I'm doing on this is my sizzler barbecue. And I carry this in case it all goes pear-shaped. Gas, it'll help you through those times. Now with your water, my suggestion is go get a filter. All of our vans are filtered as well, but you never know the quality of water. Funny name, but it is, for me, that's been the best thing I've ever had. So best water filters, you can use whatever you like, but in my world, that's been one of the best things that I've had. Work really well. You can flush them out. They're a great filter and well done to the people who make them. The other thing I was gonna talk about obviously was first aid kits. Really, really important to have a first aid kit with you. So there's the Adventure one. You can get whatever styles you like. I like these ones because they're high quality, co-branded with a good brand. Easy to use, easy to see what they are. Now we have one, this one lives in the van. I just went and got three new ones to show you guys because mine's had a bit of use. But there's this one is can stay in the van. There's one I have in the car. And obviously we carry a snake bite kit as well. So make sure you got all this stuff. It's really important. I just was out a few weeks ago. One of my best mates had an accident. One of the best things you can have is a first aid kit to try and get yourself out of trouble. So important. It's just not a big expense. Really worthwhile having. Same thing like I said earlier. I carry a 15 meter electrical cord. Pretty important that you carry an electrical cable if you want to get power in those places or you've been somewhere and you really need it. 
they work well again flat packed packs away easy they're a high quality unit worth having something we're doing at zone is we're starting to have a look at how we could produce our own bags and things that just more purpose built that no one really makes so you'll start to see these come out in the next few months so i've got a couple here with me that i've been out testing so this is one for all your cups and things purposely fits our outdoor kitchens you'll see them coming out i won't say too much about them yet but part of my world is testing out those things and that makes it really important so today's been an excellent day and it could end really well or it can end really bad and sometimes where it ends bad is you haven't had dust protection you haven't had a good power system we've got both of those things covered so we turned up here we're full of power i actually don't really need to plug in if i don't want to tonight which i probably won't water i've got enough water that we could do the night but the main thing is we're dust free i've got no dust exclusion things running i don't have to run blowers and all that sort of stuff to try and keep it out i don't have to put any covers on i'm not in there doing all this work i shut my door i put up my kitchen and i'm done and i'm driving and that's one of the nicest things i think with this van and in 2024 that's one of the things going diesel hot water that's changed our world where we don't have to worry about venting anymore so that's been a really good inclusion so one of the best things that you can do as well is obviously we've been out there today we haven't pushed the limits but one of the things we carry i went and got again another new one just to show you so a really good recovery and this is there i've got the beach and the bush kit all in one so i've got my recovery points on my car i've got a winch on the front recovery points at the back this gives you a full kit and a full safe unit that you can use there's gloves everything you just having this equipment i've rolled a trailer before so i know exactly what it's like when you have an accident out in the tracks done it with my young fella really uh late at night up in cape york remote i had no service i needed this kit i didn't have this kit then i actually had the metal wire rope and it was pretty scary and ugly so i love these products Go and get yourself a reputable brand that you know is not going to fail you when you're out there on the tracks. It's just so important. And like I said, right from the start, you've got a premium van. <clears throat> Go and grab some premium products that surround it and just enhance your experience. Because like I said, the last thing you want to do when you get back to camp is have things that just don't quite work right. Water hoses that just all go twisted up electrical cables when you see people out there trying to wind them around their arms yeah we can do it but i'm telling you that if you're moving all the time and you're traveling these items make your world such a better place and again i don't have any affiliation with these guys other than i love their products this is what i personally use and this is what i take on my trips and i just appreciate others who make good quality components that work with our products so we're going to stay the night here it's a great spot heaps of room really quiet they've got a farm stay here we're just going to really enjoy our night just relaxing and head to the pub tonight have a couple of beers and a nice feed but we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. cheers